electronic checkbook register, and Excel. Let's show an example entry. Notice that the balances update when you enter a withdrawal or deposit. Here we see the bank balance updating as we select Y to indicate the transaction has been received by the bank. We'll run through an example of this in a few moments. Place a check mark next to the last reconciled item. Say this is your bank statement and you are ready to reconcile your checkbook. The first step is you find the check mark on your checkbook register and you match that item with your bank statement as shown here. Then you start with the next transaction on your bank statement. In this example, we see a transfer to share 01, which is our savings account. So we place a Y next to it. Y means yes, it has been reconciled or received by the bank. Then we move on to the next transaction on the bank statement, which in this case is a check withdrawal of 8982 which is check number 203. Then we move on to the next transaction, which is 20784, check number 205. We place a Y. That was our last transaction on the bank statement, so we place a check mark next to that, so we will know where to start on our bank statement the next time we are ready to reconcile our checkbook. Note that the reconciled balance on our checkbook register matches the balance on our bank statement. If this were not the case, it would be an indication that there is an error somewhere. It could be that we entered a transaction as a deposit when it should have been a withdrawal or some other mistake. Need to find a transaction? Search for it electronically. You can filter for check numbers. You can filter on transaction type like deductible items when it's tax time. Use it for your business or your personal checkbook.